The Montana Republican Party is the affiliate of the Republican Party in Montana. The state party is led by Chairman, Deborah Lamb Livingston and Vice Chair, Terry Nelson. The National Committeeman is Errol Galt Martinsdale and the National Committeewoman is Betty Hill Helena. The headquarters of the Montana GOP is located in Helena, Montana. The party is a private corporation organized of political organizations including political action, advocacy, and interest groups. Bowen Greenwood was hired as executive director in 2010. He was replaced by Chris Ship in December 2014. Topic: <laughs> Current party officers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current elected officials. The Montana Republican Party controls one of the six statewide offices and holds majorities in the Montana House of Representatives and Senate. It also holds one U.S. Senate seat in the state's at-large congressional district. Member of Congress U.S. Senate Steve Daines U.S. House of Representatives Greg Gianforte Topic Statewide Offices Superintendent of Public Instruction Elsie Arnzen Attorney General Tim Fox State Auditor Matt Rosendale Secretary of State Corey Stapleton Topic Legislative leaders President of the Senate, Scott Sales Senate Majority Leader, Fred Thomas Speaker of the House, Austin Knudsen House Majority Leader, Ron Ely Members of the Montana Senate Topic: Members of the Montana House of Representatives. Topic: Platform. The Montana Republican Party platform was adopted June 16, 2012, and can be viewed in its entirety on the Montana Republican Party website. Conventions According to party bylaws, conventions that are held within the state. The state platform convention, which meets once every even-numbered year between the primary and general elections, the purpose of this convention, is to adopt a state platform. There is a state delegate convention, which meets every presidential year prior to the Republican National Committee. During this convention, they elect the delegates and alternate delegates to the Republican National Convention. Then there is the State Officers Convention, which meets in June each odd numbered year. This is when the state chairman and state vice chairman are elected. These conventions are given notice by convention calls and they give notice to all meetings or conventions. There is a quorum for any business actions and are entitled to vote thereat, in person, or by proxy, and weighted votes are not considered. Proxies are allowed except when selecting delegates for the national convention. Voting is an individual basis and are only for people entitled to vote at the conventions. The parliamentary practice is Robert's Rules of Order. It governs all conventions and meetings and allows the state chairman to appoint a parliamentarian for any state central committee meeting or convention. Topic. Committees State Central Committee is made up by the county chairman, state committeemen and committee women, and finance chairman for each county. This committee is the governing body the Montana GOP and makes up all the rules and policies for the state party. State Executive Committee is made up of many members such as State Chairman, Vice Chairman, National Committeeman and Committeewoman, statewide elected federal and state officeholders, elected Republican Public Service Commissioners, the highest ranking Republican leader from State Senate and House of Representatives, and many other Republican groups or clubs within Montana. 
The main purpose of this committee is to execute policies and programs of the Montana GOP between the state central committees. The terms of these members last as long as the chairman's term and can also end by resignation or removal. County Central Committee is found in each county in Montana and only consists of elected or appointed committeemen and committeewomen from each precinct of the county and hold officer for two years. The committee elects county chairman and vice chairman, secretary and treasurer, state and congressional committeeman and committeewoman, finance chairman, and anything else that seems important. It can adopt its own rules and come up with a county executive committee that executes the county's rules and policies. There are also other committees such as the Rules Committee. The members are appointed by the chairman and they consider or recommend rules and rule changes. Any other special committee such as the Rules Committee can be appointed by the chairman if needed. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Elected Officers. Chairman is the leader of the party and is responsible of the hiring and firing of any employees. The chairman can appoint all committees except the executive committee. The chairman has the power of supervision and management. The chairman also works with the treasurer to make sure the right resources are provided. Vice chairman performs all the duties assigned by the chairman. Secretary keeps the minutes for all meetings and anything assigned by the chairman. Treasurer controls the financial record keeping and practices of the party. Assistant Treasurer is there to become familiar with the responsibilities of the Treasurer and will perform any duties assigned by the Chairman and Treasurer. Appointed Officers Executive Director is appointed by the Chairman after approval from the Executive Committee. The main duty is to preserve all permanent records of the State Central Committee and any other duty assigned by the Chairman. Finance chairman is appointed exactly like the executive director. The main duty of this officer is to raise funds for the Republican Party. General counsel is also appointed the same way as the first two officers. The main duty of the general counsel is to advise the chairman, state central committee, and all other officers and committees on all legal matters. The general counsel is licensed to practice law within the state. There can be other types of officers that are appointed by the chairman. These types are only appointed if needed for a particular purpose. Topic: Nominations. The State Central Committee will appoint a nominee to fill a vacancy for a party candidate and the person who receives the most votes as the nominee. If one or two congressional districts for the state need to be filled, a committee appointed by the County Central Committee will make the appointment and the person with the most votes wins the nomination. The votes entitled to the certain members shall be weighted by comparing the Republican primary vote in each county and the Republican primary vote for the office being voted for. For each 2% or less of the total vote, there are four votes awarded to the county. Anything higher than 2% will be awarded an extra vote. The delegates at the meetings will divide the votes to each county and then the delegates will individually cast their votes. <inaudible> Voting trends Montana is considered to be a moderately Republican state. There is a small percentage of Hispanic and African American votes. There is a significant number of votes from the Native American population as well. In the last 10 presidential elections Montana has voted Republican, except in 1992. Republican presidential candidate John McCain won Montana in 2008 with 49.43% of the total statewide vote over Democrat Barack Obama who received 47.17%, a 2.4% margin of victory. As of 2015-2016 the Montana Senate has a Republican majority with 29 of the 50 seats and a majority in the Montana House of Representatives with 59 of the 100 seats. <laughs> <laughs> Historical figures <laughs> Benjamin Potts 
Potts was a Republican governor of Montana Territory who worked with Democrat political and business leaders to sustain a successful program of financial responsibility and economy of government during a boom period in Montana's territorial era. He was the longest-serving territorial governor in U.S. history. <laughs> Wilbur F. Sanders Sanders was a lawyer, Civil War veteran that was considered to be known as the essence of Montana Republicanism. Jeanette Rankin Rankin was a Republican from Montana and was also an important figure with the women's suffrage movement. Her efforts were rewarded when Montana gave women the right to vote in 1914. In 1916 she was the first woman to be elected to Congress. During her term in Congress she voted against U.S. entry in World War I. She left Congress in 1919 but was re-elected in 1940. Once again she voted for peace and opposed U.S. entry in World War II. <laughs> See also Political party strength in Montana United States presidential election in Montana, 2008 Montana Democratic Party Montana Libertarian Party